Hi, it's Carly. I wanted to show you as you create your, your game for the expected value project that there's a lot of different ways you can create your game and have your game your group members play the game without you having to be there in person. They would record their results and send them to you. So if you go to random.org, you can choose from a bunch of different things. If you go to games and drop down, the first one that I chose here was coin flipper and you could have them flip one coin, two coins, whatever, whatever game you want to create. And then you say, okay, go there, go to this place, flip two coins, and you can select what kind of coin you have. It doesn't really matter. You're just looking at heads or tails, right? And then you say, okay, flip the coin. And whoever does it has to record, right? Flip two coins, I got one, I got both, I guess that's a heads and a tails, right? Whatever it is you're using there. And then you can flip again, this time both heads this time one of each and you can have a game where you say if you flip two coins and you get heads you get this if you get two tails you get this and if you get one of each or whatever your game is going to be your own but that's just one thing you can do you can have a dice roller and so you can choose to roll like in the example that I did I had dice rolling and so um, you can actually meet in person and do this in, in the real world but you can also just roll two dice it's six-sided only, so then you can roll again and roll again and roll again, and each time it's giving you a new uh, roll. So that's rolling dice, flipping, or if you have some kind of card game where they draw a card and whatever card they get, they get a certain prize or whatever. So um, you can choose to draw one card at a time or more from how many shuffle decks, include all the different... Uh, suits and all the different numbers and then um, maybe draw cards and so in this case you drew a seven maybe you have a game set up if you draw a diamond it's more than if you draw a spade whatever your game is and then you have the person do 10 trials of it and they have to record and let you know what they drew so that you can then do your part which is figuring out what your payout is for that so this is just a way for you to um, create a game that your group members can play easily online. All right, have a great day.